It's Annie of the Desert Lands, and today I would like to offer you a special tip, one that I think is so important, and that is to always have a word of encouragement in your heart. And I would like to read you from a piece that I wrote called Listen Well. And this could be coming from the muse, this could be the voice of the universe, it could be the voice of the gentle breeze that blows in your sleep. It could be the voice of the Holy Spirit. Listen well. Listen well to who you are. The years of walking have taught you great wisdom. You travel through uncharted lands and find a way, not with a map, but with the hand of insight. Be fully who you are. Did you hear that? Did you listen well? Be fully who you are. That is of great beauty. Do not be afraid. Do not hold back. Dance across these pages. Pour out in endless passion the stories of truth and mercy, the healing poetry, the songs of life. Play them loud into the night. Drum them in unrecorded rhythms. Write upon them the dreams that are pulled into the now. Stand up and stand tall. I am causing the rising up of gardens of splendor. They are radiant and they are multifaceted. They are gardens that are so beautiful. To you, they look like crystal diamond trees and crystal flowers that are breathing in color. They look to you like madness of delight. These gardens of splendor are magnificent places that I invite you to walk into. And in these gardens, there are healing. In these gardens, there are songs and you will collect them like the dew and sing them, filling ears and hearts with music that is alive. Music that reaches into the very dark places. You will also find words in the gardens. They are the diamond fruit that feeds the hungry. They are the nourishment, the teachings, the encouragement, the joy of loving presence. And the fragrances? What do you think the full moon on the desert floor smells like? Does it smell long and wild? A hint of white stone and a soft undercurrent of undiscovered wonder? Does your nose recognize the smell of dark night? that has been flooded into shimmering radiant light, light that has shadows for companions. Does your nose remember the song of dawn and what that smells like? It is like sweet honey in the cold. It is as a breeze that doesn't get heavy or harsh. Ah, uh, listen well. It is not a mistake that you see and hear and smell and touch as you do. It is not a mistake. Enter deeply into these gardens of splendor. Up until now, you have only stood at the gate and sometimes peeked in. Open the gate. Now is the time to come in. Listen well. And I hope that words of encouragement to be who you have been beautifully made to be will feel your being. As I sit here at my table, my kitchen behind me, a window before me, that your heart will be encouraged and that you will listen well. 